You are now entering the realm of white hot business. This is where we get real about why what happens in the bedroom and your body is a reflection of your business confidence and visibility. I'm your host, sexologist and business mentor, Lauren White, and I'll guide you to become the sovereign, magnetic, and sensual woman that's available for more success and satisfaction. Access all areas. It's time to transform your business from lukewarm to white hot. You need to speak your truth and get your business heard. This is a sermon of the highest order. This is the sermon that I know you not only want and desire, but require. You're talking and talking and writing for your business, but are you being heard? Sit with the discomfort of that. Sit with the discomfort of, I'm speaking, I'm putting things out there, I'm writing, I'm creating. And if you don't feel like you're being heard, this is one powerful reason why. You are not speaking your truth. You are so hung up and caught up with the worry and the anxiety that you will ruffle feathers. You are stuck in the never-ending loop of, but what would they think? What if this bad thing happens when I say exactly what I want to say or exactly what I know to be true. I can already tell you where your mind goes. It goes to the worst possible place. It goes to when I speak my truth, if I really said what was on my heart, if I spoke to my personal experience that's controversial, that deviates from the norm, then these people will reject me. And if I get rejected or if they abandon me, then I'll be ostracized. And if I'm ostracized, then I'll be alone. And if I'm alone, that's the worst possible thing. How will I survive? Sounds dramatic, doesn't it? It sounds intense. This is where the primal brain goes when it's concealing the truth and not expressing it. And it's exactly what's going on in you, whether you're cognizant of it or not. Your ultimate, deepest, darkest fear is that you are completely ostracized and you don't have a support system. That's where human brains go. What if I said to you that it doesn't have to go to that end point that your old primal brain throws up and puts you as the only option when and if you speak your truth? What if instead of your truth taking you down and pulling you down, to being alone, what if your truth elevated you and invited others to elevate with you and curbed that feeling of loneliness and actually had you feeling more connected than smothering and concealing what's really on your heart when it comes to your business and brand? It's almost as if you've never thought of the alternative. You've never thought, but what if it makes everything better? What if it's even better? And today, 
I want to ignite you to start thinking in the affirmative when you speak your truth in your business rather than going down the rabbit hole of your deepest, darkest fear. So now that that's out there, your deepest, darkest fear about what would happen if you speak your truth, why don't we look at the risk of not speaking your biggest truth? Because historically, you think that speaking your truth is the biggest risk that you can take. What if we spin it around and I said to you, not speaking your truth is the biggest risk you can take for your business and your brand and your life? What if not speaking your truth is the thing that's holding you back from what it is that you want, who it is that you want to work with? what it is that you want to see manifest and materialize in this lifetime? What if you're taking the biggest gamble of them all right now by not opening up this part of your body? And I'm pointing to my throat right now. What if? So welcome to my Willy Wonka world where we spin things around. So now that we've established that, your deepest, darkest fear, and that you not speaking your truth is the biggest risk that you can take, let's start taking some embodied risks. Right now, you're blending in instead of standing out or standing tall in your business. You not speaking your truth, what you know to be true, is having you come across as generic, as palatable, as honestly kind of boring. There's no fire. There's no spice. There's no unique point of view. You're not being heard because people can't hear what you stand for when you're bogged down with semantics and trying to make everything easy for people to understand and writing for a 10-year-old level of intelligence because you heard that a bazillion years ago at the beginning of your business, stop. Take a massive breath down into your pussy. (sighs) open your chest and puff up your chest a little bit right now. Bring out a little bit of peacock energy. Put your shoulders down and back. Gently lift your chin and have your throat feel exposed. What would it be like to have the next words that you put out into the world for your business and brand to be exactly what is on your heart and what you're here to disrupt. Keep that physical stance that we just tapped into. What would it be like? What feeling does that fill you up with? And if you feel fear, it's safe. You're still here. You're still safe. Your beautiful primal brain is just projecting into the future and trying to protect you. What if you spoke to exactly what's on your heart in your business? What if you activated your own disruptor energy, your own feather ruffler energy and what if people started to sit up and pay attention you cannot get attention and traction for your business by trying to fit in and being generic all your potential clients are sitting there shrugging their shoulders And saying to themselves, so what? And, and, 
they can't feel you right now because you're not feeling yourself and the power of your words and the power of your unique stance and positioning. So decide, tap into it. What makes you unique? What is the one thing that no one else is willing to say? Tap into that. What is the one thing that you know to be true that no one else is willing to say because everyone else is too scared to speak on that particular topic? Where can you be a little bit edgy, a little bit controversial to create a pattern disrupt in your business and brand and to see what happens in regards to the response? The asterisk is it has to feel true for you and it can't be contrived. There's a layer of contrived controversy, shock value out there. That's not what I'm speaking to. What I am speaking to and what I am imploring you to do is to lean back into your big, beautiful heart that has so much to say and to say, to ask yourself, what is the scariest thing that I could say about what I stand for in my business and brand. If I were to speak my truth, what words would they be? What would that sound like? And why do the people out there have to know this? There has to be value to the brand when you speak your truth, and it's only in that value and that contribution to the conversation that you'll start to get heard. Don't add words for the sake of adding words and shock. Dig deep. Let everything go really quiet. And it is that old question that's out there, what would I say if I didn't feel scared? What I'm going to add to that is, What would I say if I didn't feel scared? And even though I feel scared saying it, what would those words be? I don't want you to mask or pretend that you're not scared because you probably are. And that's natural. That self-protection has been there for a very valid reason. Now you're ready to grow. You're not going to operate from your little girl anymore in business, your little good girl who wants to make sure that everyone's comfortable and everyone approves of you. You're here to be the red-blooded woman in business and the red-blooded woman in business says to herself, even though no one, I'm taking the risk that no one comes along with me on this ride, I know I need to say this because if I don't say this, I will be on my deathbed living with regret, knowing that I didn't give it my all, knowing that I stayed silent on the things that I said matter and the things that I said that I value. So if you value what you say you value in your business, you need to be congruent. You need to speak to that and you need to speak without a filter and without trying to soften every single thing that could be felt as an edge because then no one gets the message. No one can get the message and the message can't land if you're constantly trying to soften it and make it comfortable for people. What you're denying your potential clients is an opportunity to look inward and to be ignited to take a different course of action. There are those of us in this world that aren't just looking for inspiration because inspiration is a dime a dozen. 
turn on, dharma dozen. Arousal, dharma dozen. But true activation that then ignites action is a whole other echelon that a lot of women in business aren't tapping into because they're letting fear run the narrative. And they're more preoccupied with fitting in and creating some one in a bazillion blend in brand instead of going, this is what I love. This is what turns me on. This is what I know you need to know. This is what I know to be true. And my truth can change at any moment in time. And if that truth does change, you just say in future, you know how I said this. Well, new information has come to light. Stop thinking that your truth is being carved into some kind of concrete that you have to carry with you for the rest of your business journey. Speak the truth as it stands in this moment. Right now, this is what I know to be true. And you are not responsible for holding the opinions and the perceptions and the judgments of everyone else. And something that I come back to, I come back to this again and again and again and again, is there is no one out there that has thought worse things that I've ever thought than like anything worse than I've ever thought about myself. It's just simply not possible. When you're smart, when you're intelligent, you have cast judgment on yourself like no one else out there can or has or ever will. So when I speak for my business, when I go out and do speaking engagements, I know that no one could think anything worse than I've ever thought about myself in the depths of my depression, in my dark nights of the soul, in my shame spirals. There's nothing worse. I've already thought the worst and I'm still here and I'm still speaking. So I'm fortified. I'm protected. I'm galvanized. And you are too. When you come back to that and when you believe it, And you go, no one's thought anything worse than I've already thought about myself. It's just simply, that is a truth in itself. So use that to leverage you into new speaking terrain for your business and brand. Use it to start speaking your truth in your business. Be prepared to see people leave you and people unsubscribe and unfollow. Be prepared for some criticism. What's worse is trudging along, plateauing, flatlining, and everyone checking out and your business slowly dying because Why should they work with you? What you're not igniting them, you're not lighting a fire in them, or you're not grounding them into their truth. You are a way shower, whether you like it or not. You are a leader, whether you like it or not. And leading requires congruence. Number one, you go first. This is sovereignty in motion. I go first. I belong to me. I speak my truth. I stand in trust. I stand here and I see you over there. And we are connected but not enmeshed. You are free to go. I trust that this has been the pep talk that you needed in order to ignite you to speak your truth in your business. You just have to start. 
And I assure you, it gets easier and easier and easier, and it becomes your standard. And when it becomes your norm and standard, everything else you write just sounds so deadly boring that even you check out as you're writing it. But when I'm writing, I'm asking, is this turning me on? Does this feel, does this light a fire in me as well? There's a dual process going on there with expression, whether writing or speaking. And it comes back to you and your power and your pleasure and owning the fact that if you have your own business or if you're an outlier in corporate, you are a disruptor. So go disrupt and change things for the better. If you know that speaking needs to be a bigger part of your business and your corporate journey, but you're feeling blocked from taking action to get more speaking opportunities, to speak to your truth, to be out there and ignite people and create impact beyond you huddling, hiding, caving away. I'm hosting a workshop especially for you. In 90 minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to make speaking an exciting and profitable pillar of your business when it's historically felt daunting, anxiety-provoking, full of fear and triggering off that primal brain response. I'm also going to tell you what I've specifically done to become a better speaker and establish myself as a speaker and as an authority long before I had a podcast or got paid speaking gigs and what you can do too. How to spot aligned speaking opportunities and become a guest or contributor that hosts and organizers can't say no to. I've got so much to say about that one. How to position and amplify yourself as a speaker in your business right now, not waiting until X, Y, and Z happens right now. And energetic practices to open your throat so that you can express yourself with power, clarity, and full body alignment. All of this allows you to have a measurable, pleasurable, and repeatable experience of speaking and being the loudspeaker for your business and brand. To design your unique path to speaking with power and pleasure in your business, I invite you to my workshop, White Hot Speaker. Check out the link in the show notes to sign up today. If you know speaking needs to be a bigger part of your business, but you're feeling blocked from taking action to get more speaking opportunities, I'm hosting a workshop especially for you. In 90 minutes, I'll show you exactly how to make speaking an exciting and profitable pillar of your business when it's historically felt daunting or anxiety provoking. What I've specifically done to become a better speaker and establish myself as an authority long before I had a podcast or got paid speaking gigs and what you can do too. How to spot aligned speaking opportunities and become a guest or contributor that hosts and organizers can't say no to. How to position and amplify yourself as a speaker in your business right now and energetic practices to open your throat so that you can express yourself with power, clarity and full body alignment. To design your unique path to speaking with power and pleasure in your business, check out the link in the show notes and sign up today.